Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, Tarte au Citron, so French name which stands for lemon pie and uh, which is um, a consent manager. Uh, here's a talk about consent request, actually in the title of the website they are talking about cookie manager. Uh, it's before all um, tool in order to manage uh, the consent at least in order to ask uh, to the user what are the different tracking requests that they accept to fire or not. I'm talking about it because that's an open source project which have mostly uh, been uh, advertised thanks to the French uh, Privacy Commissioner. So this page is in fact uh, listing some uh, consent manager and you can find uh, do, 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 do. Uh, you can find Tarto Citron over here and what is great with Tarto Citron is that the guy behind decided to release it as an open source uh, solution under the MIT uh, license so information that you can double check by going on the project over here and then uh, click on the code part and then you see over here the MIT, uh, MIT license. So that's the first thing. So you can uh, download it and put it on your own server, doesn't require much in fact. Uh, so what you need to do is that on uh, your given website, so in my case it's localhost uh, my site, hold on, let's do it like this, okay. Um, so you have to include the script on your page, here in my case I'm using uh, the cloud version, the one uh, directly hosted by the uh, creator of the project, but uh, you can in fact download it and put it on your server. This is what I did uh, the first time, but then I struggled with the different uh, paths, so that's why I decided to go for the cloud. Then uh, Tarto Citron will give you uh, the following script that you need as well to insert on your page. So in fact this script is managing uh, the way that the uh, concept manager is is uh, displayed on your website. So for example here, um, so actually I'm gonna go on Chromium because my Firefox get buggy, but here as you can see you get the concept manager uh, over here and in fact uh, this can be changed according to the different to the different settings that you're gonna make on the page. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna change uh, the um, the settings over here. So let's imagine, for example, that you go for uh, top here rather than bottom. Uh, so those are the different attributes in order for the uh, consent manager to show out. And as you can see, it's not working because probably I just did not save my work. So now I just saved it and now I can refresh and it's not gonna work again. So I'm just gonna delete all those cookies, yep, uh, cookies, and let me delete all those cookies, da 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 da. Okay, all good. I'm refreshing my page and now as you can see the power is gonna go above. So that's uh, that's the thing that you need to know is that what you configure over here is gonna impact the way that the uh, banner is acting. Then uh, what I decided is that I decided to uh, fire Matomo Tag Manager over here and in fact this is thanks to, uh, in my case, thanks to Tag Manager that I'm inserting the different tracking code that I'm going to use uh, to uh, be fired through Tarto Citron. So in fact what Tarto Citron is giving you on their website are the different scripts that you need to embed on your website which are going to substitute the existing tag that you have on your website. So to say, when you go over here, when you click on installation guide, when you go for uh, this given version, so this is what I did, uh, the script that I insert on my page and then the attributes uh, for the for the banner. The next step is about choosing the different tracking code that you want. So let's imagine, for example, that I want to integrate Matomo. I just click over here and then what uh, Tarto Citron is explaining you is now you need in fact to take the script and put it on your website or either through your tag manager and you need to remove 
in fact the existing script that you have which was the following one so this one is the default one of matomo so don't use this script anymore use this one instead when you want to send data to matomo so as a result what i did is i copy this part out i went on my uh, tag manager in my matomo tag manager and what i did is i just copy and paste it over here okay so this is my modify script in order to send data to matomo for the sake of the example, I did exactly the same thing with Google Analytics in order to show you how it works. And once those two uh, tags are inserted within the Tarte Citron, what's happening is that you are getting, so dips like this, you are getting this part out. So it, they are both automatically recognized and then you can decide which one you want to allow and which one uh, you don't want to um, to have on your website. And that's that's how it works. So here uh, you can clearly uh, already see that it's, it's great. It's really interesting. So uh, one point which is missing is what about any additional tag that you would like to add on uh, your uh, concept manager. I prefer not to call it cookie management because in fact what's happening here is that look at this, I deny the setting of uh, Google Analytics so I can even deny the the one of, of Matmo and what's gonna happen as a result look, if I inspect uh, through the network tab, if I delete these parts out, okay as you can see none of uh, Google Analytics and Matomo have been fired, whereas I can use Matomo without cookies. So it means that here the requests have not been sent, whereas um, that's um, uh, whereas it could have worked uh, with, with Matomo. So I dislike to talk about a cookie management system because it's not blocking only the cookie, it's blocking the full uh, the full tracking and now I activate it so now the PWIC um, uh, tracking code is, is executed. So uh, what is missing here is that uh, as you can see it's just work for the Matomo uh, default tracking code which means that if you are adding events or other things like this you need to uh, create additional tag from my understanding within the Tarto Citron uh, system so by chance this is open source so you can of course uh, hack it and provide your own tags in order for uh, to have actually the additional uh, tracking code over here and to have somehow uh, a full and complete uh, consent manager solution because let's imagine for example that you are using the general tracking code on some pages of Matomo but on some other you are using the user ID well probably you would like to get the consent for using the user ID for those additional and optional page and this is where, of course, uh, the consent manager will become very handy if uh, you are a developer and if you are able to add those additional tags. And that's it um, for uh, for today. Uh, just to let you know as well that at the beginning, uh, the big issue that I was having is that um, I was using the self-hosted version. And by using the self-hosted version, uh, the let's say the script, um, I had to look in fact through the console in order to see the different paths which were broken and because when you use the self-hosted version well of course you need to modify the path and it affects uh, something like two or three uh, different files and as well uh, the other mistake that I made is when I try to use it with Matomo on the website they give you uh, the possibility to choose between Matomo and Matomo Privacy by Design and I don't know, I used one who did not work with my installation whereas the other one was working. So there is a tiny difference between those two which may break uh, your tracking and if it breaks your tracking in fact uh, Tarto Citron will not show any information so that's uh, where you need to uh, guess on your own and try with the other one in order to uh, finally see the, the pop-up window. And that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.